stretch of this game. But I don't want to say that Olimar is bad now, but still, he could do a lot with Olimar. Hopefully, well. Oh, there's no way Olimar is dead bad. Olimar was too high to fall down so far. <laughs> like, Pichu isn't bad anymore. He just can't spam moves. Yeah. He can I mean, still, honestly... like, kill you with 10 moves in a row. Like, <laughs> here we go. But nonetheless, we have a very aggressive Richter, like, going for those those short, those nares up and close and personal. The cross a little bit too high. Some really good percent here. We're going to be seeing, a, we're going to be seeing Alomar's height change come into play here quite a bit with the projectiles barely missing, are barely going, barely sweeping right above his head. All right, grab miss. Alomar going for a cheeky little down tilt. You never really see that. It's a little bit of pressure. Pretty safe move. Yeah. <laughs> And the animation just makes it so worth it. Honestly, yeah. But honestly, a character like Olimar being top tier in this game, I would have never seen that coming. I mean, honestly, he's like, small. He has smaller things that are just a pain to deal with. Rosalina was top tier in Smash 4. I can, like, see it coming. I just don't want to. I just don't want to see it coming. Yeah. You see what you want to see. And I see Captain Falcon. Hopefully. And Donkey. Yes. Mario. Yes. Get him out of here with that purple Pikmin. Logic showing darn. Purple Pikmin, isn't he, aren't they like one of the strongest that you can use, but one of the slowest? Uh, pretty much. They got they got double the health. They got they do a whole lot more damage. And when he throws them with that neutral B of his, they prioritize through a whole lot of things. Get him right out. Especially and we got a ton to follow up. All right, we got cross, but Logic rolling right behind him. Put him on that pressure. Landing aerial, not going to, not yeah. going to lead him to a grab. Adding percent. Kind of slowly. We have the Belmont trap, but Alomar skirts right over despite the nerf recovery. Hey, I said skirts with and, Alomar in the same set. that's not death? Excuse me? Supposed to die, Alomar. Do it. Off in the grave. You see, this is why Richter is better than Simon. Simon. He says, take this, and it's really loud and kind of high pitch. He's asserting his he dominance. He just keeps saying it. Belmont, or Simon just keeps going, eh. but Simon's like, take this, or no, Richter's like, take this. He at least speaks, so that's always good. If you want to assert your dominance, always speak. If you want to approach Simon, Simon has to say so, but he never speaks. That's how Simon wins. Take this. Simon Cowell rolls. Take this. All right, oh, the trap not going. Oh, wow. Bringing it back a tad bit. So this might actually be a pretty close match. Logic used Hopefully. to people pl people playing Belmonts in his face, trying to get that Alomar right out of here. Oh, a bit greedy with that back air. He's trying to read a jump. That's what Dark is looking for. Dark has been making a good lot of a good lot of calls here, avoiding the little traps Logic has been setting. Yeah, I mean honestly, Alomar can just sit by the side of the stage and just camp you for a really long time. And that's what took the last kill there, reading the jump and hitting that sweet spot on the board there. Didn't even need it to be a sweet spot, who knows? Oh, at the end of the match, I guess. We'll know some pretty good stuff at the end of the match. But hopefully we can see a very hype moment, or possibly a hype moment with Olimar or Richter here. Maybe a nice comeback or two. We're seeing, we're seeing like two characters out of their element. They're going melee. It's like two Tyrannosauruses having a fight with their hands. That is this matchup. I mean, yeah, you got a point. It's basically, I don't even know how else to describe it. Yeah, ranged characters going in melee, that can be a little bit of a dangerous thing, especially when you need to change, change strategies during match. That's like kind of hard to do, so I'm actually very impressed with how these characters are playing. A bit, sque a bit squeechless, I gotta say, but still, 131%, literally anything can happen in these next couple of seconds that can give uh, Dark the advantage here. A brilliant job maintaining that advantage, too. He's kept it this entire stock. We got the legendary percent. Logic. All right. Whatever. As long as he uses the right Pikmin at the right time, he can still take the lead. But this is actually a very good comeback coming from Dark. That okay. was close. We got SDI up, staying above any up smash range, even up angle. Definitely got to do something impressive here. Not here. that, but can. Congrats to Logic for doing a very nice static spike. A very well timed of that. He can, Belmont can always stall. See if you throw the aerial out first. See if you commit, bait it out. But the quick one is so hard to deal with. Yeah. And but whatever you get gets you on stage as fast as Belmont. Oh goodness. Keep him, keep him away from that off stage. 
Yeah, honestly, wait. Did they actually pick a memento? What are they doing? Wait, River's in the desert. Yes. Okay. Oh, God, yes. Good. God. Good choice. All right, now I'm sticking to this match. Even if it's like the crappiest match ever, they at least got a really good song. Along with Prom. Ooh. It's like a mix of disco and rock. That's what really and gets it's me. Really good. It's really good. Persona music and Smash. Of course we needed Get it. it in here. I really one of my favorite ones is Ari the Soul the remix they did for that. Oh. oh, that is like some good Smash and vibes right there. Yes. We got Mewtwo coming out, but a read, a really hard cool. read on the Mewtwo pick, and Dark switches to Crom. So this is actually going to be a very interesting match, but I think Mewtwo might have an advantage. Actually, no. Uh, Mewtwo might have an, an advantage here. Might. Mainly due to the fact that he can carry Krom off stage and do very well in the air, but I'm not sure if that's the case for Krom. Like um, if using Krom's recovery. Yes. But then again, Mewtwo's always had a reputation, especially in Smash 4, of dealing poorly with swords. That big old hitbox of his. Especially and with him being kind of light in Ultimate, it can actually be a bit challenging for him to face Krom if he's going to do a lot of areas. Ooh, that was almost a really good counter there. Coming in with the Shadow Ball, which could also be very dangerous to Krom. Ooh, trying Good to call it. Him. Really wanted to get a shadow ball off, even if it was the smallest one he could get. Yikes. What a scream. Oh, I like how yeah. we just hear his deathly scream behind this amazing music. Top set, character death screams. I know a whole lot of them. Leaning, one of my favorites, but that's not this game right now. Yeah. I mean, honestly, Logic's going pretty well with Mewtwo. Hopefully, taking something really good here. All right, we got that up close pressure using that frame one jab. Is that really frame one? Oh yeah, it's frame one, but like it's the animation that makes it like only hit you at frame two or something. Oh, interesting. All right, very good aerial. Sync to the music, I'm rocking out here. I mean, honestly, they should just unplug the ear pods and just listen to it. I mean, look at him, look at Dark, he's like, he's got a bob in his head a little bit. Look at him, he's stealing this oh, game. Oh, we got reads, get him out of here. He is really feeling the music. You can feel that read as well. All right, Logic. All right. Let's see what else you got in your little satchel of cool stuff. Cool satchel of cool stuff. Oh, neutral air. All right, Dark. He was doing well in that disadvantage state, but did not predict how long Mewtwo's rolls are. Holy cow, big yeah. rolls. Oh, oh, oh. Uh huh? <laughs> I thought he spiked him, but I guess... Does, does Krom's uppy have super armor? A bit of it, yes, I'm guessing. Yes, a bit of it. Oh, like, only that? on certain frames, of course. Yeah, he's gone. No, we are not. Oh. I Logic mean, gave him a second chance. Trying to confuse him. Going for another Shadow Ball into a down smash. Up throw? Back throw. I'm really sorry. Trying to get those oh, try to go low for that. Hold him right into the up B. Really trying to get those disabled. And compared. a confusion as well. Is it disable or confusion? Or is it hypnosis? Yes. Get him <laughs> All out of here. the above. Hey, he's new too. He doesn't follow the rules. All he needs is a simple grab or a nice, really cool combo. I guess the counter works pretty well as well. Well, well. Could have just done up right. throw, but really wants to toy with it. That wasn't 2% for up throw, though. Oh, really? Yeah, he's going to need it. Oh, oh no, but I guess that does well, too. The parry worked yeah. against him. That's not what we want to see. Logic did very well in those two matches.